Hello everybody, Prepper003 here today and today I had a great product I wanted to do a small short review on just to kind of let everybody know about this product. I know um, SOE has a really high good following and they make excellent products. Right now I just feel that um, their micro rig series of chest rigs, even their sh shotgun sh micro rig here that I have over here, um, just needs to get a little bit more... Um, I, <laughs> A little bit, a little bit more um, of a of a following, I should say, because it just how such a great chest rig they are, and the design is such a great design, I should say, that for it's a, pretty much a perfect chest rig for your standard SHTF scenario for your preppers and maybe for your militiamen out there, especially if you're looking for something that you can quickly grab and go, have enough mags on you, and have enough modularity on it to where you can pretty much do what you need to, but you don't have to overthink you don't have to overload it and you don't have to do all this extra kind of crazy stuff for it to make it work because it, it, the, mo the moment that you get it right out of the box it's ready to rock and roll so right now here's the rig that I have right now the one thing that I don't ha have right now I, I was running the H harness that I have here on the AKM4 micro rig that I have here but because my cheap push to talk that I had for my radio broke which I'm trying to figure out a good new one that's going to hold up to the wet and cold scenarios that we have up here in Wisconsin. So right now for my bale fang that I have in here, I'm just kind of walking it as a handheld at the moment. But for my needs, that's perfectly fine. Then I also do have my SOE med kit here. Just a easy foldable. It's got just pretty much just the basic small stuff. A Halo seal, quick clot, and then a trauma bandage. So, and I do keep the tourniquet down below here. Then I have standard four AR-15 magazines, which fit very nicely in there. And these do accept AK magazines. So if you did want to put four AK magazines in here, whether it be your 74 AKM magazines or your 762 AKM magazines. It'll work either way. Um, so th these are very good for if you're running an AK or if you're running a AR-15. And what I did here myself is I took a insert so I could put three more magazines in here to give me a more full loadout, which works perfectly fine for me. I haven't I haven't had any issues with this. Now, yes, it do it does increase the profile of the chest rig a little bit so trying to go prone is a hair amount more difficult but you're not really getting much more difficult because you're already rocking double stack magazines so you're not going to be getting as low to the ground as you would want to with a more slimline chest rig similar to the SICR chest rig that I went over and reviewed before. Now even with the mag inserts in here I can still easily get into here get at papers whatever have you like I just put a map of Wisconsin here. Now you can put other types of things like say you have your laminated paperwork for your form fours for your suppressors or SBRs or if it's um, a map of your AO or whatever have you. So whatever you want to put in there you can just try to keep it keep away from trying to fill it with too much stuff because if you quickly go prone down onto it and say you have some car keys in there and I'm talking to some of you guys that like to have your car keys set up like a janitor that can hurt going down right on your sternum. But right now I've run this in snow, mud, rain, sun, whatever you have, and this thing has held up very nicely. And what I will show you guys is that you do have some molly paneling here on the side of the magazine pouch here on the right side. So I just put a small utility knife here, and you can also put something over here, like I have a pistol mag pouch over here. Now if you did want to put a smaller pouch to fit your radio, you could put that there. I just found that putting my radio over here was much easier and then I could just run the push to talk up onto my right side or onto my left side depending on how I want to configure if I want to put the radio over here. That's the thing I like about the micro rig series is that you can configure how you need to to fill your mission needs and what your objective or whatever you want to. Or if you just want to rock it, keep it minimalist, just run the four magazines, even just run two magazines if you want to, you can do that. Now one of the nice things that I will show you guys is that you can fit the Surefire D60 magazines in there as well. So if you do want to have a um, extended magazine in there, you can easily throw in the 
be surefire D60s without issue. So that's a nice touch to it. And I and I was so impressed with this one that I bought a couple a year. I didn't want to say it was two years ago that I've had this one now. That I went and bought a another one. And right now the one thing you will have to do is you will have to follow SOE on their Facebook and on and get your newsletter on your email if you want to see when these come available because sometimes they're not always in stock. You might have to wait a couple. Well, I'll be honest with you, you might have to wait eight, eight weeks or 12 weeks. Right now I've waited about two years for my subgun micro rig, and right now it's definitely going to be worth the wait. Um, right now I got a message on Facebook from John Will saying that they are going to be running those, and I, I have seen them put them out. I'm, they're just waiting for a couple of few other things onto my order. But these rigs are definitely worth the money, definitely worth the wait. Um, but like I said, I went and got this one right here just for have a, a nice loaner chest rig because OD Green blends right in with uh, most territories and right now it just right now I'm working at filling this one up to be as acceptable as this one and you do have the nice good elastic down here to where if you want to put a if you want to put flares get tear gas bangers whatever you need to you can put those down here like I just have a tourniquet right here for quick and easy access. So that's what this is how I have mine set up. I just have it for easy use so that I can use for a grab and go and it's ready to go as I pick it up. So I, I've run these for um, a class. It worked perfectly fine there. So just one, one extra thing I can say, these, these kits are definitely worth it. Now, now I'm gonna bring out the <laughs> You can definitely tell she's been used. Got a little, still a little bit of the mud in there. Now, right here, here's the 12 gauge micro rig, and right now I have my tourniquet here. And this one I got used. That's why it's got a little bit of the writing on it. Um, I didn't really care. I don't have any known drug allergies, so that didn't bother me much. I had to black out the person's name, but even still, if you can find these these chest rigs used, grab them up. They are definitely worth it. Now, the thing I like about the 12 gauge chest rig so much is that I was able to easily load my rounds um, in a quick emergency reload. I was able to load into the t um, tube very easily from these. And the nice thing about it is, is how quick and easy you can just tear this away, pull it out, and then you have a whole nother row here of shotgun ammunition. So if you're looking for something for um, quick and grab home defense, this will definitely be work, worth it and will definitely work. Now, you do have to get, you lose, you have, you have to get a little used to um, pulling these out and loading them. At first, when I tried it, I had them loaded this way here, which was a little bit counterproductive trying to pull it out and then and then load so you learn <laughs> but these these chest rigs right here are just so well made so so built for for the type of scenarios that you can see your contractors or your military personnel getting into and I mean these chest rigs will probably outlive you as long as you don't set them on fire <laughs> and even then and depending on how long they're in the fire I bet you they'll still work pretty good now the 12 gauge rig that I have here doesn't have all the extra molly attachments to it except for right here which um, I would put a radio or something if I wanted to. Um, I would prefer to have it on this side but I can just put my radio in here and put a pistol pouch over here. It doesn't bother me that much because right now this is my predominantly shotgun load of. But still I love these chest rigs. I love the even the shotgun micro chest rig. I would prefer this over carrying them in just uh, in my pocket loose or shoved down into a cargo pocket inside the box or the only thing I would say would probably be faster than this type of chest rig is if you're going to want to use like some of those competition setups on a on a battle belt or on your belt. Um, the only problem is I don't know how well those would hold up to long term uses like you're actually trekking through the woods um, for five or six miles to, to a destination or inside of a vehicle if you're getting in and out quickly and moving through out and through a, out and through a building. So, and I just don't have any experience with those type of um, loadouts for competition uses for a shotgun. Um, but I definitely can say that you guys could definitely use these that will hold on. They have very good retention for your shotgun shells. So you, you have to actually deliberately take these things out. They're not just going to fall out randomly on you. So I can say that the micro rig for the 12 gauge shotgun setup is definitely good to go. I can definitely endorse that. And if you see them show up on their um, Facebook or you see them show up on to their live feeds, which I follow very well they, and if you want to see what's coming up on their production line watch your live feeds but I can definitely say that I would love to pick up another one of these but right now this one has been filling all, all that I needed to so 
I cannot say enough good things about the actual product here for the 12 gauge micro rig. It actually made me want to run my shotgun again rather than my rifle or my 249S. But trying to keep it short, just try to keep it simple here. Um, the rig is very really nice. It can do what and beyond you're probably capable of as a standard prepper um, and what your standard loaded is. Now the material, um, their website didn't say the exact material that it's made of, but I know it's made out of a very, very heavy duty Kodura. Because I'm talking that the just the flaps that these are right here, they're not flimsy, they're not lightweight, these are heavy duty uh, flaps. The material is very heavy duty, so I don't see, um, I want to say it's, I want to say it's 1000 Kodura or better because right now, um, but I'm not an expert on that, so um, it might be 500 for some of it, but I do know that I want to say that a, a few things of these are definitely a 1000 if if that, I could be wrong now, um, if somebody knows the exact uh, the exact type of um, Kodura that this is made of, put it down in the link, I would definitely, um, well put it down in the comments I should say, <laughs> I definitely appreciate that, I've looked it up, I've tried to get that question answered, I just haven't been able to, to get it answered, but the it's definitely very high quality genuine nylon Kodura, so it is very well made, very good quality, and right now even with the standard X harness straps, which I'm not generally a favor, um, a fan of. I prefer um, the H harnesses. Still holds this type of a heavy duty loadout very well because this is about three megs more than what the design of it was um, for. I do know that they make some four meg inserts um, from SOE that you can put in here, but right now I have just been so impressed with this chest rig and what it's done for me. So that's pretty much it, and I and I just want to say that if you guys are looking at them and then you see them, snatch them up while you can. Um, so, thanks, I appreciate it. I, I just wanted to keep it um, nice, sweet, and simple. Wanted to give you guys just a general idea on what I, I found out about the Chester's after using them for so long, how they've held up into the uh, elements, and right now, as you can see from the mud encrusted on this one, she's definitely still been holding up, and right now I haven't seen any fraying, ripping, or tearing in any of the material on any of the um, chest rigs that I've used so far with the SOE. And I just can't say enough good things about them. Uh, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Prepper 003 out.